Alrighty, you guys. So I felt really inspired to dive deep with some essential oils um, and just have a play together, like really explore bringing in more emotional harmony and reverence to our day. You know, like what kind of rituals do you have in your day that you just really love? What supports you and nourishes you? And if you want to start writing those in the comments, that would be fun. Um, for me, I, I just so cherish, you know, that time when I wake up and I just greet the day in my own little way, just quietly. And I close my eyes and I just let myself slip into a yummy bubble of protection that I create around me. And I just imagine this beautiful ball of golden light around me and it's, and it's God's light, you know, just, and it just suffuses me. And, and I imagine myself and feel myself in the arms of the goddess and she's holding me and loving me up. And, and I have her light coming through me up through the soles of my feet and just feeling her from the earth. And that the masculine, um, the, the other, or the divine light, you know, are they really masculine and feminine? Who knows, it's just kind of fun for me to feel that way. Father God, Mother Goddess, I just love it. And I just feel that coming down from my crown. So I've got like silver light coming up from the earth and that's my earth mama. And this golden light coming down through my crown. They're both divine energies and they align me to the divine. And then I just drop into my gratitude for being. And I just ask how I can show up best as a servant of love. And of joy for the world and whatever it is I need to show up for that day and then I drop into a meditation so I also go for a walk with my dog and that's about an hour or so out in nature and when I come home and um, have a shower and I aromatically dress and I will just choose the essential oils that really reflect and assist me with bringing in what I choose to call forth into being in my life so this morning I will, you know, I'll share with you what I dressed in, a patchouli, and I accidentally smashed her as I was bringing my oils over to do this live. So she's gone back to the earth. <laughs> so I had patchouli, frankincense, and lavender, and I really felt them just like, you know, wrap me up in their love, and I layered with rose. And what I did was, I placed them in my beautiful little wild oils wooden bowl and um, put in 10 mils of fractionated coconut oil and I just put a couple of drops of each in. And to that aromatic dressing, I also added two drops of bergamot. I just love the song of bergamot and I just felt called to use bergamot with that patchouli, lavender and frankincense. So it was really beautiful. And then, um, I just rub a dub dub all over my body. And I was really aware to love myself up. You know, I've just been feeling so much extra weight and stuff carrying around my tummy area. And I have no idea what it is, but I'm just noticing, you know, noticing the self-talk. And it's not where I once was, but it's it's the thoughts are a little uncomfortable for me. So I just really spent time, you know, massaging over my belly and just saying, I love you so much. And feel free to just let go of whatever you feel you need to hold on to right now. Because I'm here to love. I'm here to love you and cherish you exactly as you are. And then I took the rose oil, the rose touch, and I laid her clockwise over my belly and um, over my chest area, my heart area, my breasts, my throat. And I just immersed myself in rose. So it was really beautiful to don myself in those essential oils this morning. What are some of the rituals you love? I saw some people put aromatic dressing there. You know, who else out there meditates and what kind of meditations do you love? Um, there are so many, right? So many different types of meditations. What is it that, that rocks your boat? What has your heart singing? I love to recommend, uh, there's so many, but Dr. Joe Dispenza is amazing. D-I-S-P-E-N-Z-A. And he's quite amazing with uh, his meditations and you can download them some essential oils that you can use to really anchor you know deeply with these um, meditations if that's part of your ritual and when I say meditation I mean you know you can this can be journaling this can be praying 
This is, um, oh, affirmations, beautiful, hun. This can be anything that just takes you deep within, where you can just go into the stillness and breathe into the stillness. And I love just hearing the magic in the silence, right? Deepak Chopra meditations, absolutely, Laura. You know, there's some great stuff. There's heaps of stuff out there, and sometimes I just don't want to listen to anyone. I just want to go into my own, right? Hey, Sammy. I love you, honey. Mm -hmm. So I want to show you a blend. I feel like cedarwood is a bit of an unsung hero in terms of meditation and helping us to drop in and really align with the divine. People mostly think of frankincense, right? It's the first one that comes to our mind for this, and he is sensational. So frankincense, cedarwood, and then I would love to invite you to blend some abovate with this melody. And what you can do, hi Casey, what you can do is actually take the three of them and place them in a little roller bottle. So just make your own, um, you know, roller bottle. That's my rose. That's a good way to reuse them once they're finished as well. Um, with the rose, see how there's just a little bit of rose touch left in there, right? What I would highly recommend if you want to really just um, get into your heart space with your meditation as well is to unscrew the lid of the rose and then just use the lid to take off the top there. Then add your frankincense, cedar wood and abovite to that and touch the top the rest up with um, fractionated coconut oil. And then massage that over the ajna, across the forehead, the crown. It's really good, the occipital, that part there, the occiput, and that reaches um, the brain so beautifully. And I find it really nourishing and relaxing as it accesses, like I just imagine it accessing the occipital regions of my brain and here and here. And I'm like, hello, pineal gland, for activating you, I'm awakening you, right? Hello, beautiful brain. Oh, look, there's the pituitary gland. There's, there's this and oh, there's my limbic system. You're smelling, you're loving this. And I just love to engage my brain just for a second, you know, and I don't do that all the time, but sometimes it's really yummy just to kind of, I love you brain. You know, we're gonna wake more of you up, right? So if you don't do it with the rose, it's fine. Just use an empty roller bottle and you can put cedarwood, frankincense, and arbor vitae together in that roller bottle with fractionated coconut oil or any carry oil that you really love. I love this because it absorbs so quickly, right? The long fatty chains have been gently heated out to leave in the um, medium fatty chain. So that's why it stays liquid all year round. Now, when you journey with these essential oils, where, where will you go? Where will you go? Like for me, I'm like straight to the divine and deep into mama earth. I'm like feeling the trees, I'm walking through the woods, a forest, and I'm feeling myself just morph and be still. This is where I really love silent meditations as well. I saw someone wrote that and just walking silently. Oh, so beautiful, right? Where will you go? Open the lids. Maybe you have them by you now. Open the lids and just, just smell them. Maybe you have just one of them with you. Take the lids off and smell and see where you go with frankincense, cedarwood and arborvitae. Maybe instead of a meditation anchor, that will become part of your sleep ritual. Maybe that will take you into a deep sleep. And you might want to place some cedar wood on your big toe, which is the head in reflexology, right? And then a little bit behind the ears and your wrists. And again, you can make a beautiful roller ball with that. And just rub it up dub all over you. So I love bringing ritual in for as much as I can, everything in life. My little girl and I, well, she's nearly 13, but we still have bedtime ritual together. And it's an hour every night right, when we're together, and it's reading or storytelling, and there are songs, and there's sharing of what we're grateful for, and prayer time, and who she might want to say a prayer for, and call in healing for, right, just connecting with the divine, and what she and I are both grateful for, and I love just that energy of dropping into the heart, so what oils take you into the heart, what oils take you deep into the earth, what oils have you instantly connecting with the divine? Where do you feel most home, right? So for some of you, you're really gonna wanna play maybe with lavender in a different way, 
right? Because you know, you hear me, you hear me talk about her and say she's the duvet of the aromatherapy kingdom, right? She wraps us up and soothes us and calms us, right? So what about if you added her to Millie's wild orange and Jess's vetiver? Lavender, wild orange and vetiver. What would that feel like? Where would that blend take you? For those of you that love your walking meditations and silent walking meditations, that would be a beautiful blend. The lavender and the vetiver and the wild orange, so the vetiver connecting you deep with the earth, right? The wild orange with joy and the lavender opening your heart to receive, to be soothed, to be connected, right, with nature. I really love balance as well, Nicole, and I love layering balance with the Frankie boy, with frankincense, right? And I just layer them on my wrists because balance is already in, it's already suspended in fractionated coconut oil. So that's here, what we call our grounding blend. And these are the trees, these are glorious. We have um, Canadian spruce, Gosh, it's so hard without my glasses. Um, Hoe wood, frankincense, um, a chamomile. I mean, I love these. Oh, you'll see with the beautiful um, essential oil blends that have the blues in it. You know, often there'll be a blue chamomile or a blue tansy, you know, comes in. That's one of our newest um, blends that have come in. What about, oh, Leah is saying, Jasmine and Neroli, I sobbed when I first experienced them. We can't get her over here yet. It's going to be very soon, Leah. Soon to the UK and Europe, honey. So I really love Balance and Neroli, just as a tip. They're really beautiful together, Leah, when you have them. Um, and Jasmine, Neroli and Rose, you guys, layering them together is phenomenal. So do your aromatic dressing and whatever you're dressing in, and then you can just take the rollerballs with you and just be layering them as you're working with them, right? So Frankie and Litzia, that's beautiful as well, Leah. You know, great for respiration and support. And when we're bringing in emotional harmony, it's really beautiful to bring in essential oils like Litzia or cardamom or the Easy Air, the furs, um, any, of the, any of the blends with the spruces and furs in them because they really inspire us. They remind us to open ourselves up, to breathe, to be present, to the miracles. I really love working with them. Um, you know, what about, let's, let's pose this. What about if you guys were to think about when you want to feel really yummy in your day, you know, beautiful from the inside out, radiant, like a magnetic, amazing manifesting being, what do you turn to? Right? What do you call in with those essential oils? Let me see. Queen Rose, beautiful. And I saw up there that sleepyhead blend. That sounded yummy with the marjoram. That's okay. Enjoy your meditation session, honey. Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. We've got a few people turning to Jasmine. This is beautiful. Geranium and patchouli. Yum. So, so as you're just writing down Wild Orange, Balance and Litzia, Whisper, yeah, the women's blend, which has some exquisite essential oils in it, right? Peace. Uh-huh. Absolutely. And Litzia is showing. It's, I'm fascinated. I'm loving seeing so much around Litzia, right? Because he's so oxygenating. Um, I really want to bring your attention to the, see Litzia oxygenating, but also amazing for clearing the toxins, right? So, okay, Kirsten's written Litzia, Blue Tansy and Frankincense. Let's go there for a minute. So, so the Litzia is great at clearing environmental toxins, right? Think about the energetic and emotional toxins that often strike us in the day, right? That hit us. Look at all these Litzia blends. Oh my gosh, you guys loving it. So think about those and think about where Litzia can emotionally help to dissolve that. See, it's like when we work with these oils, they come in and they're dancing with us, right? They're working with us to dissolve that density. And as you feel into the oils that help you to feel brighter and yummier and more expanded, what those oils are, and you start consciously bringing them in and talking to them to help you bring them in. 
something really beautiful happens. What about petty grain? Who uses petty grain? Let me see. Because I feel like petty grain is pretty underused. Pretty underused. So, I was so excited when doTERRA brought petty grain into our little um, family of essential oils. Petty grain with rose and jasmine is exquisite. Absolutely exquisite. And Laura Kirsten, Laura LaSalle is saying that that blend smells amazing, so people are already smelling it. Yes, petty grain is amazing for sleep. She's also amazing for when you feel inner turmoil going on, when you feel frazzled, when you feel like life's just getting too much and you're going into a bit of overwhelm. So you could do petty grain, bergamot and Hawaiian sandalwood, petty grain, patchouli and clary sage, petty grain, Frankie boy and cedarwood, deeper connections, petty grain, litsia, ginger and wild orange, petty grain and citrus bliss, right? There's lots of different melodies you can weave into. If you want a really divine sleep blend and you don't like the lavender, you could go petty grain, cedarwood, marjoram, or petty grain, marjoram, vetiver, petty grain, Roman chamomile, and rose, right? She's so soothing. She's so melodious, the rose. Where else can you bring her in? Where else can you bring jasmine and neroli in, right? So petty grain is a very special essential oil and I would love to encourage you all to invite her into your life. Petty grain, ginger and patchouli are amazing for when you want to get your creative on and when you want to really deeply connect with your heart song and really hear that melody, right? So petty grain's amazing. Blue tansy, oh my word, I love Blue Tansy. Oh, I love her so much. I'm using her a lot. I love Blue Tansy, Arbor Vitae, and Cedarwood for, for skin, for skin support. I do a lot of travel, and often I find my skin will react even to um, the bed sheets and the, and the towels and whatever they've all been washed in. So I will use those three to bring lots of support, and then I layer with Rose. I use Rose a lot for skin support as well. She's incredible for youthening and brightening and oh, just helping to, um, to return my inner world to a yummy equilibrium, right? And I don't want to say I want to be balanced and even and did it, did it, you know, put, a, put a kind of um, a lid on my emotions. But I'd, I'd love to just have a little more of this and less woo, right? So I bring Rose in to support me with that. Um, okay, ask me some questions if you like and I can bring through some blends for you. Would you like to do that, you guys? Hey, Samantha. So good to see that you're back home, sweetie. Cuddled up with mummy watching this. Okay, Natalie's saying she wants to try Rose. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Rose, Jasmine, Neroli. The Blue Tansy is incredible support. Copaiba is the other new addition to our family and I love working with Copaiba. I just love um, placing Copaiba, Blue Tansy and Frankincense all over my body and then I layer with Rose and that too is amazing skin support for me. I find that my inner world is really nourished with these three as well. And also if I have any anything that's tweaked, like I felt funny, um, you know, maybe like I've woken up with a crink in my neck or I felt funny waking up and a bit stiff in my body or whatever it might be. So I love using, hello London, <laughs> I love using the blue tansy, copaiba and frankincense to really support me and support my skin and rose as well. So rose awesome is incredible for, um, for support. I find like she supports my emotions, my muscles, my body on so many levels. Okay, a blend for when you are stuck and not moving forward, Vanessa, please. Um, I could listen to you talk so passionately about the oils all day. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Jules. I thought it was going to be something. Is there something I can help you, like support you with, with a blend or anything, Jules? Okay, so Tracy's asking for a blend when you are stuck and not moving forward. Oh my gosh, Tracy, honey, can I tell you this from my heart to yours? It's like, I, it's a choice, 
my sweet. It's a choice. You know, how many of us have felt stuck and continually to feel stuck? Look, trust me, there are times where I just go, ah, like, am I going forward? Am I moving? Am I going sideways? Like, what's happening? And um, I feel like I'm just in like this little, you know, not quite quicksand, but, but mud. And it's sucking my feet in, okay? So I am really, really vigilant with going, okay, I need to do a meditation, I need to go for a walk, I need to move my body, I need to move my mind, I need to activate it. Um, let me just, my relationship is super fractured right now, honesty and truth are a big thing. I'd love a beautiful blend to go with Epsom salts for my daughter for cramps on her feet, emotional young girls, pre -pubescent. Okay, let's address a few of these things. So stuckness. I'm just gonna feel you for a second, and I'm feeling petty grain, patchouli, and cedarwood for um, for you. Please don't buy into being stuck. Okay, it's a choice to just to just come out of that, right, honey? So just pray on it, meditate on it, journal it, whatever it is, and move yourself out of it as quick as possible. And I tell you what, the best way to get out of stuckness is serve, serve someone, help somebody with something. Right? And the other thing is is to get active. Go for a walk, change your scenery, go out and dance in the rain, <laughs> whatever it might be, but change of scenery is great as well. I feel like as humans, we spend so much time processing stuff, just processing and processing and processing, and so it keeps us stuck. What about if we just kind of went, okay, I'm choosing right now to return to my natural state and reclaim my birthright, to be in a state of joy, to stand in receivership of love and to come back to my grateful heart. Gratitude will unstick you in a heartbeat, you guys, okay? So it's very difficult to stay in the world of dense emotions when you're in gratitude, okay? Kirsten Thrush, um, Cedarwood, and Lavender Peace is what I'm feeling for that Epsom salt bath. Um, Prepubescent girl, you can dilute the Clary Calm, right? Take your Clary Calm bottle this is amazing. The Vitex in this offers incredible support and just decanter into a roller bottle and just start with, you know, a small amount and put FCO and increase it slowly just based on her skin sensitivity. This is, um, this is full essential oils. It's undiluted. It is brilliant. It's amazing. It depends how young your child is, but that's a great way to do it and put in a little roller bowl and she can take it to school, put on her wrist behind her neck, over her belly, over her chest. Okay, Jules, um, a blend to wear to calm my nerves and give me confidence for classes and workshops. I'll oh, bless you, honey. And I saw someone wanted a Diamond Club blend as well. Um, Diamond Club blend, what I felt was um, ginger. You know what? I'm feeling Citrus Bliss and Motivate both coming in. So take your pick. Ginger, Citrus Bliss and some Cassia. And maybe just layer with the Motivate Touch. Okay, let me... And it is raining here now. Good. Um, okay, something for workshops. Okay, you guys, for the ones asking for, for more confidence in life, so whether that's teaching classes like this or just getting out in life and being confident, connecting with people, um, a blend for rank advancement, you need to, can you just write down which rank you're going for, sweetheart? And then I can... Um, and then I can add that for you, Millie. Okay, so when you're looking for confidence, what oils lift you? What oils have you just rise and expand and open up? Think of those oils, feel those oils, unscrew the lids and create a blend for yourself with that, right? So I'm gonna let you sit with that for a minute, and feel into it. Okay, a silver blend. Oh, let me just feel you for a minute, Millie. Okay. I'm feeling, I'm feeling Siberian fur, copaiba and frankincense. It's a big one, remembering your truth, connecting to the divine and layering rose all over you. Jewels, spearmint. Ah, yes, so expansive, babe. And it's so beautiful to just put a drop of spearmint. It's not even a drop, like lift the lid and just on your hand, wet your hand. Three deep breaths of spearmint, then smear the rest over your clothes and the bottom of your hair and just be breathing it in, right? Spearmint and Douglas fur together. Ah, gorgeous, just saying. Um, okay, it's a pleasure, Millie. I love you too, honey. Okay, Karen, you're going for gold, are you? All right, let's feel. Let's feel what helps you to feel expanded. 
Let, what is it that helps you feel like you just want to like, you know, really expand into gold? Um, Siberian fur, spearmint and patchouli. I just felt for you there. So see how you go with those. A blend for confidently running classes. Okay, so again, feel what has you feeling expanded. So something great for classes could be for you like frankincense, bergamot and lavender. And while you're doing the class, it could be the frankincense, lavender and mild orange, that signature blend of mine that I've taught for such a long time, over 20 years. Okay, um, platinum blend. Hang on, I've been doing a drop of Frankie and Copper Yerba under my tongue before a workshop. Loving the sound of wearing Motivate. Okay, beautiful, great, fabulous. Okay, very calming, soothing blend. All right, um, Spearmint and Douglas Fair. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Okay, so someone said platinum, is that right? And now we have another platinum coming in. Okay, let me just feel this. Let me just feel this. So feel into platinum. You're helping to co-create three silvers. You're helping to liberate them to bring them into that toe dipping into leadership, into sharing. You're helping them to inspire three amazing people into elite. You're creating momentum and focus. You're beginning to become more solid in the legacy you're choosing to create. What blend reflects this for these upcoming Platinums that are listening right now? What blend takes you into some joy with that? You know, you might want to play with some Monica, Spikenard, Melissa, and Wild Orange. For the Premier Girls, oh, congratulations, angels, bless you. This is a great expansion as you propel into Premier. You have two legs that you're creating into this solidity, into this way to walk forward, right? What helps you to walk strongly? What helps you to stand and feel grounded? Maybe you want to try some balance and cedar wood, Siberian fir and lemon. That might be a yummy premier blend for you guys. Elite. Oh, bless you, Courtney. We're like so grateful for you elites, oh my gosh. And then you'll expand into premiere and, and silver and you'll be inspiring other elites. Okay, so I've given some examples for silver and premiere blends. Let's look at elite for the moment. So elite, you know, you're starting to, to really play in this area of, hmm, dreams do come true. Starting to get my oils for free now. I'm starting to stand in receivership of free oils and free product, and people are wanting me to come out and teach classes, and people are wanting me to help them to create natural solutions for their everyday living. Right? What oils inspire you to that? Maybe some lime and Hawaiian sandalwood and cypress, right? Okay, I've been blessed and gifted a spot on the Kenya Comfax sourcing trip and I would love a blend to help manifest being able to afford the trip. Ah, it disappeared before I could see it and I'm not so tech savvy that I think I can find it. Let me see if I can go into... No, I can't. Okay. Okay, so manifesting in abundance. I'm sure a lot of you... I'm sure a lot of you would love to connect with abundance, right? How many of you have dared to dream big and then pff, the dream falls in your lap and now you're just feeling into how do I manifest this? One of our incredible gold leaders on our tree has also been gifted with this. She had on a vision board for Kenya and now she's been told she can go and now she's like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to manifest, right? So you need a deposit of $500 by Friday, I think it is. Um, and then the remainder plus flights. So what I would love to inspire and encourage you to do is to bring it into your meditation. Bring it in to your meditation, right? And you're taking your son as well, bless you, that's gorgeous. So your mind 
is super powerful for creating intentions. Now you guys apply this for ranking, for manifesting abundance financially for trips you wanna do, for um, maybe family holiday, for maybe a house or a car or anything you wanna bring into your life, okay? So, do, should, we just quickly, should we just quickly drop into it? You wanna just quickly do a meditation? Show me some hearts if you want me to quickly take you on a quick journey. Or thumbs up or who'd like me to just take you into a little meditation and um, then we can look at manifesting. Okay, we've got lots of hearts going. All right, you guys, shall we do this? All right, so I want you to reach over and grab an essential oil or blend that you want to journey with in this meditation and that will act as your aromatic anchor. So just grab something. And you know, you might want to anchor with Hope Blend. Who has the Hope Blend? This is a beautiful one to anchor this with. Maybe Hope and Frankie Boy. Okay. All right. Let's get that oil on our palms. I love putting it on my wrist. I'm going to put it over my throat as well, my heart, that I may serve you and speak what you need. Okay. And if you go onto my YouTube, you can subscribe to our YouTube. It's Food Alchemy with Vanessa Jean and Paul Ovens. And there is the meditation on there, the fuller one. And it's called Ranking with Consciousness. And you can do the full meditation on that. But let me take you somewhere now. So put that oil on your hands and three deep breaths and just close down your eyes. Three deep breaths and feel your belly rise and your rib cage open and expand with the life force. And just breathing deeply, becoming aware of your breath. And breath by breath, just letting your body sink deeper and deeper into your chair or the bed, wherever it is you're, you're seated right now. Breathe deeply. And now, just creating an awareness of that dream. Uh, that's something you're choosing to call forth into your life in a big way. The Kenya Co-Impact Sourcing Trip. The next rank that you're expanding into in your doTERRA business. The deeper connection with your family, with your children, with your beloved, your bestie maybe. Maybe what you want to bring into your vision is freedom and really giving some space and time to create what that would look like for you. So whatever it is you're choosing to call in, financial abundance, the miracle of, of money coming in for this amazing co-impact sourcing trip that you've been given the gift of, the miracle of the next rank and what you're co-creating, the miracle of that deeper connection. Let your mind create it in the fullness that it deserves, this vision. So, see yourself on that trip or being celebrated as the next rank or wrapping your arms around your kids and just kissing them all over and loving them up and all of you laughing together. Maybe your vision is about you and you're seeing yourself in a fit body, a healthy body, however that looks and feels for you. You're seeing yourself exercising or being inspired to move your body or partake in some of the things that you just love. I want you to bring it all in now. And a few of you have asked for this Kenya Co-Impact Sourcing Trip and Abundance for that. So I'm going to just dive into that for a moment. And I want you all to put in whatever it is for your vision. 
family holiday, financial abundance for something else, a rank, connection with your beloved, with your kids, whatever it is, okay darlings? So go into as much detail as you can. I wanna see you packing the bags, putting the items in. I wanna see you high-fiving your family that you're going. I wanna see you celebrating that the money has appeared in miraculous ways and you're paying it as you need to. I wanna see you putting that $500 deposit down to secure your place on that co-impact sourcing. I wanna see you typing out to, to your friends saying, I did it, I did it, yay, I'm on the trip. I'm on the trip, I'm so excited. And I'm so excited that the universe is providing me with everything I need for this, financially, health-wise, and family support with kids, whatever it is. Hmm. I want you to drop so deep into it that you feel it with all of your body, you guys. Feel it in every cell of your body, believe it and know it. And I want you to rise the vibration of your being right now and drop into full gratitude of it. Full gratitude of that rank that you're visualizing, of that trip that you're going on, of the abundance coming in, of the deeper connections, of people walking towards you so inspired by you and wanting to to dance this with you and create a new life with you, of freedom and natural solutions to health. Whatever it is you're calling in, see it in all its detail and take a deep breath and release and breathe into your heart and breathe in all that gratitude that you can muster and then breathe in more gratitude and go deeper in your gratitude and hold that vision that you have with all that gratitude and love and joyousness you're feeling right now. Feel it in your heart. Let yourself lift and expand and rise with it. Oh, feel that vision and wrap it up in love and joy and gratitude. Lift yourselves to a whole new frequency right now. You're creating a new cellular memory. You are connecting neural pathways. You're igniting new parts of the brain. You are firing new parts of the brain. And now I want you to see that vision and everything in it walking towards you, coming towards you. Your heart is the magnet for it. Feel your heart drawing it into its sphere. Feel it coming towards you right now, you guys. Breathe it in. Place your left hand over your heart and breathe in all of that gratitude. Breathe in that vision. And just keep breathing it in with all of the gratitude you can muster and then go deeper into gratitude. Go into as much detail as you can and you are breathing all of that in. And now. And now. You're gonna release it to the universe. Release it and simply say, may thy will be done. May thy will be done. May it serve the higher good of all concerned. And make a commitment to yourself that you will show up every day to serve for this vision. Ask that the veil be lifted, the veil be lifted, that shroud over your, your ajna, your third eye, your sixth sense, your intuition that the veil be lifted, that you may see, that you see the truth, that you allow God's grace into your life, that you allow the miracles into your life, that you allow the goddess to just journey this with you. Whatever it is that's your faith, allow it in right now and surrender it. Surrender it to that, that higher intelligence May thy will be done, may thy will be done, may thy will be done to serve the higher good of all concern. I hand this over to you with a grateful heart, with my servant heart. Oh, I am so grateful for aligning with you, the divine. Take a full deep breath in, oh, breathe it in, and release with a, oh, and breathe in, and release, oh, inhale love, 
and exhale gratitude and this time inhale gratitude and just pause the breath for a moment and sit in that gratitude for a moment gratitude is the greatest form of receivership as you exhale feel yourself wrapped up in gratitude so I'll say it again gratitude is the greatest form of receivership and your heart is the magnet that's bringing it all to you your mind is going to emit those electrical frequencies out there, those currents out to the world and your heart's the big magnet bringing it to you. So take another full deep breath of those oils or blends on your hands and give thanks in a way that is in accordance with your beliefs and your faith. <laughs> give thanks to that higher intelligence, that divine grace in your life. You're now so open to letting that flow in, to stand in receivership of that. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Welcome back, angels. There's part of you that's already doing it. It's already doing it, right? It already is it. And now your heart is the magnet to call it into being now, right now, right here and now. It's like that part of you that's already doing it is singing you to it. And now, you guys, you're singing it to you. So you're going to be magnetized to each other, manifesting it so beautifully together. Hmm, thank you for allowing me into that space. So all of you that had that beautiful invitation to Kenya, that amazing co sourcing trip, you are blessed. You are so blessed and remember the universe gives you what you're ready for, right? And let it show up in unexpected ways. Let the miracles unfurl, right? Let the miracles unfurl. Thanks for your beautiful comments. Jules, what have you written? Thank you so much, Vanessa. I can see and feel leadership at the Gold Coast. Yay, it's awesome. Yeah. Bring it all in. And remember, bring your families in. Bring your loved ones in, right? Like, feel those relationships morph and change as you deepen. I love you too, Sammy. You got this, baby. All right. Let me just share a blend with you, which is cypress, lime, and lemongrass. That's what I want you to use to get rid of the funk if you enter into disbelief, if you dare go there. Right? And then you're going to do a meditation like this. Get on and do Dr. Dr. Joe Dispenza's meditations. He's amazing. There's a morning and evening meditation. Um, and he's got an amazing book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And um, his newest book, Supernatural, what's it called? Supernatural You, Being Supernatural. Um, Paul and I last year went to his amazing progressive workshop and then his retreat in Cancun. And for the Aussies on this call, um, he has uh, a week-long um, retreat with all of his magical stuff that he gives um, in the Sunshine Coast in October. So get online and do his progressive if you can so that you can be part of this if it sings to you. Um, so cypress, lime and lemongrass to release the funk and then go really divine. Like you want to come into full gratitude and divinity. What about spikenard, rose, lime and grapefruit? Like really come into that yummy energy there, right? And anoint yourself with it. Go deep into the sacred. Um, yeah, thank you, Elizabeth. What a great to start to my day. Thank you. I'm wearing lime and lemongrass already. It's amazing. Yay. Fabulous. Okay, so get into the habit of layering those beautiful touch oils, rose, neroli, jasmine, of using blue tansy in your moisturizer on your face. Imagine what it's doing like to your skin. It's phenomenal for your skin. Just go research it. It's amazing. A lot of the beauty companies are using it because it's so youthening. Massaging that with your, you know, Verage or um, 
any of the other skincare system in doTERRA that you love. Um, I love it in the hydrating cream when I'm traveling, a little dollop of um, cream and a little like crescent moon shape of the blue tansy. I don't even put a full drop in, I just wet my hand with it and I massage that all over my face, neck and décolletage. But see what I'm feeling is, I'm feeling that blue tansy all over me. Like she's nourishing me emotionally, she's feeding my skin, she's feeding my emotions, she's feeding my mind, quietening it down. She's helping me to remember to love me as well because that's a big journey. We teach what we need to learn most, right? So it's a big one for me, huge, right? And I'm blessed with the best husband in hubby land and telling me all the time he loves me and how wonderful and beautiful and all of that that I am. But you know what? Unless I believe it myself, it doesn't, it doesn't land. And some days are better than others, right? Some days are better than others, but I find blue tansy, amazing support for that and the rose. And the copaiba, I love the copaiba. I actually love using copaiba on my skin, on my skin, um, uh, drop under my tongue or in a little shot glass on the roof of my mouth with Frankie Boy. There's different ways to use it. It's got to feel right for you, however you use it. So go with your intuition. Um, and Natalie's saying, I hear they compare it to Botox in a bottle. You mean the blue tansy? They say that about the Cellubel as well, or also known as um, Immortel which is the beauty blend that doTERRA has created. So they call that Botox in a bottle too. So we've got this and we've got blue tansy now. <laughs> Look, frankincense, myrrh and cedarwood are great on the skin as well as are the sandalwoods. Um, but yeah, I, I swear by blue tansy and, and this Immortel slash Solubel blend, the, the beauty blend. All right, you guys, I'm going to wind it up. I don't want to take too much of your day or night. Thank you so much for joining me. Any last questions or comments before, before we go? I love blue tansy on my face cream. Yeah, me too. Just use Kapiva, frankincense, and Melissa for your medita meditation. Yay, Leah. Copa Eve is amazing, isn't it? I'm off to do a power and purpose class. Speak to you soon. Bye, Sammy. I love you. Enjoy that yummy rollerball kit. That's okay, everyone. So for those of you wanting to do yummy um, follow-up classes like this, you can look at purchasing our power and purpose kit classes. They're beautiful rollerballs or ease and grace. Um, and you'll find them at Oil Life, um, Aroma Tools, and also Shanti Star has them for those in Australia, and they'll send them straight to you. So I can put um, a link on my page to those and the, the little YouTube video if you want. Okay, so the YouTube is Food Alchemy with Vanessa Jean and Paul Ovens, and the fuller meditation is called Ranking with Consciousness for any of you that want to join us there. For those of you who are just being touched by these essential oils and you don't yet have your wholesale account, please connect with the beautiful soul who's dancing this with you and who's maybe introduced you to the essential oils. And if that's me, I'd love to journey this with you. So send me a message um, and I would love to connect with you. Uh, you can just send a Facebook message here on this page if you like. And yeah, we're here to connect with you. The website is foodalchemy.com.au for those of you that are using the essential oils and want to explore more. It's like a resource hub for all of you and there's around 700 blends on there. Feel free to share them and use them. I love you so much. Thank you for blessing my heart and journeying this with me today. I'm in Margaret River on a yummy, peaceful trip away with my family. Love you guys so much. I don't have the details for the Sunshine Coast in October, Kim. See if you can subscribe to Dr. Joe Dispenza's um, newsletters, honey. Get on his website and subscribe so that you can be notified they haven't released it yet. They've released the dates, I think, but I don't know them off the top of my head. All right, Kim. For those of you in the UK, England in particular, I'm coming back. I'll be there early May. I'm coming to Glastonbury and I'm doing some of these beautiful classes and I'm even doing a retreat there. Amanda Porter and I will be there together. Amanda Porter, the co-author of um, Essential Oils and the Emotions, Emotions and Essential Oils, um, and various other amazing books and um, resources that they've released. But her and I will be journeying this together. And in London, for those of you coming to convention, on Wednesday, I think it's the 15th of May, we are going to take you on a journey with the emotions and the science of the emotions and the essential oils. So that's going to be in the morning. Again, just go to the events tab in my um, on our website.
website, foodalchemy.com.au. Hope to see as many people as I can there. I can't wait to be back in the UK. Um, for those of you that I'm seeing in Melbourne next week, I will see you there. And for now, I love you guys. Have a beautiful day or night, depending on where you are in the world. And enjoy journeying with these beautiful essential oils. See you later.